Hi everybody, my name is Mauro Scandiuzzo, Field Application Engineer for ST Microelectronics and I'm cover the MEMS sensor. What we're gonna present today is the sensor type, then probably you already know, is a portable device with a lot of sensor, microcontroller and also Bluetooth Low Energy and we will connect to our laptop Windows 8 or Windows 10 through Bluetooth Low Energy and we're gonna use the Unicleo graphical user interface to connect and pair the device. First things to do, go in nasty.com and in the search area type Unicleo, the graphical user interface that we're gonna use. Press the Unicleo graphical user interface, scroll down and download get the software. Obviously you need to have a, a username and password in nasty.com so after the new download the graphical user interface and uh, you launch the installation, you need to pair the device. As you see, the sensor tile, the LED, the LID is blinking, so it's in advertised mode. Now you need to pair to your laptop. Open the Bluetooth feature, add a Bluetooth device, scroll down, this particular device is MAM1V310, you need to pair that, it requires a password from the C code, the password is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Next, waiting, then the pairing. Now then is connected, I can launch my graphical user interface, I can select the proper connection, connect it, select the feature that I want, in this case I want to have everything, so environmental sensor, motion detection, activity uh, accelerometer event, battery, sensor fusion, activity recognition, carry position, and gesture recognition. I start, the first thing that I see is the data logging here, and uh, here on the vertical bar, I have all the features, data logging, the graph. Let's uh, see the, the first things that uh, let's say, more peculiar for a wearable device. First of all, let's wear your watch. Let's look for the sensor fusion. Sensor fusion is a teapot. Actually, the teapot is represented exactly my wrist mo movement. And as you can see, is exactly the kind of movement that I'm doing with my, uh, my arm. Now, assuming that I want to do some activity, let's uh, see the uh, activity recognition. So I'm doing a stationary condition, so it's detecting that I'm in stationary. Now, let's start from a walking condition. I'm walking, and the algorithm embedded on the microcontroller will recognize that I'm walking. Assuming now that I'm jogging and we recognize that I'm jogging and now I go back in a stationary condition and we recognize that I'm in a stationary condition. Let's assume that now I want to remove my wearable. I'm going to sleep. So I remove that, I put on my desk, and we recognize that is in my desk. At this point, I take in my hand, and we recognize that is in my hand. Assuming then that potentially could be also a hearable. Now, the algorithm will recognize and is an earable. Okay. Other things that I can do is data logging all the activity using the data log tab, select what I want between temperature, humidity, pressure, acceleration, angular rate, magnetometer, accelerometer events, battery status, sensor fusion, e compass activity, carry position, and just recollection. The way then I data, uh, data logging is through a CSV file and I can elaborate using Excel, MATLAB, whatever I want. If you need more information, please go to our website st.com slash sensor type. Thank you for your attention.